everyone, it's Julia, and welcome back to my channel. This week I've been working on sweatshirt jackets, just taking a sweatshirt and turning it into a, a jacket. And I use this fab fabric twisted cord, twisted fabric cord, I guess you call it, um, for the, the, the button loops. Uh, I just, they turned out really cute. I'm going to be showing you some photos at the end. They're just kind of explaining a little bit um, the some of the other ones that I made this week. But we made this in the last week's project and I created a cuff with it and I actually showed how I how I make this cord so if you missed that one I'll link that video down below but in this video we're going to be taking some of this cord and using it for button loops in just a fun upcycle or a, a sweatshirt transformation I hope you enjoy this let's get started I will be using a comfort colored sweatshirt and this is the color sea foam. I will link my supplier down below. If you're going to be doing these for a craft show or doing lots of these, you might want to just check into a supplier. Um, but you can also pick them up on Amazon and I will see if I can find a link for that as well and I'll leave that down below. First thing we need to do of course is do, is do some deconstruction on it. I'm going to be cutting this bottom band off. And I'm going to be cutting right above the seam. And then I'm going to be cutting the seam on. The seam is going to be my drawstring. I'm going to make a jacket with a, with a bottom drawstring. I'm going to set the band aside. I don't use the band in this project. And then on the, on the actual string, I'm going to just gently pull that and stretch it. I want to make sure to, that it goes all the way around the bottom, plus a little bit to knot and to tie. So I'm just going to stretch that out and then set this aside for a moment. Now onto the cuffs. I am going to cut the cuffs off and the cuffs are going to become the pocket. So again, I'm going to cut right above that seam. And then I'm going to cut that seam off. And then I'm going to cut this, this seam away to open this cuff up. And now I have something that looks like this. Now notice how there's a, this little crease right here. That does not come out with this particular brand of sweatshirt. Because these are pigment dyed and they're dyed after the garment is completed, there's going to be a little bit of a variation in color right there. And no amount of pressing is going to get this to be completely flat. Um, so if that bothers you, you can either embellish that area or not use the cuff or, or use a different fabric for excuse me yeah use a different fabric for the pocket altogether. I'm going to go ahead and cut off the other pocket or other cuff in the same way. One last thing that I'm going to cut on my sweatshirt is down the center. I just eyeball right at the neckline and then I do like to measure right below the armholes just to get the center. I'm going to usually put one more mark and then just connect them. And now it's off to my sewing machine. On the ones that I made previous this week, I did a lot with my serger and I edge finished all of my, all of my um, sides with, it, with the, my serger. And I'll just so, show you some pictures at the end. But because I know a lot of you may not have a serger, I'm just going to be using my regular sewing machine. Be using both my zigzag stitch and then I'll probably use my applique stitch. But I'll show you at my sewing machine, which is my next step. I have approximately 30 inches of my cord cut. I'm going to work on my cord first. Tips putting it under my sewing machine and I'm going to be running a wide zigzag. I have my zigzag set at the widest it goes and it's quite a long length on this. I just want to put this zigzag for on just for a little bit of stability just to keep the cord together. And it kind of looks like this. To finish the pockets, I have one pocket that I un or one cuff that I unfold and the other one I leave folded. 
and the folded one is going to be the top of my pocket. And I'm going to be zigzagging this as well, but I have the zigzag set at a, at a narrower stitch. You could probably straight stitch this or use some kind of stretch stitch. And I'm gently pulling that top layer, that top cuff. I do want it to be slightly gathered at the top of this pocket. And then trimming that extra off and also rounding the corners of my pocket. I'm going to add some of this cord just as an embellishment to the pocket. You could also add it to that little crease or that seam, but I'm going to put it right at the top just as a pop of color. I'm just going to be snipping that off. And now for the center front. I did change my stitch to an applique stitch. It looks similar to a blanket stitch. And just folding that center front to um, the front so that, so that the inside is to the front, approximately an inch. I don't really measure it and I don't really pin it, but I just kind of eyeball that all the way down. And it looks like this. I'm gonna also do it on the other side here, going all the way up the other side of the center front. I really like how the inside of this sweatshirt looks and so these cuffs as well are going to be turned to um, so you, you see some of that inside. I'm edge, edge finishing this with the same um, blanket stitch or the same applique stitch and I did stitch that in the round so I stitched it on the inside and then we're going to be turning it up. So the cuffs are now done. Just tying a knot on, on each end of this drawstring. And I'm putting that drawstring in the bottom and just putting one pin. And I want to just get my pocket placed correctly. So I put that drawstring just to give me an idea. And then just pinning that pocket in, in before I, I sew it. At my sewing machine again, and I'm going to work on the drawstring, just um, basically covering that drawstring, just rolling that fabric over, and then finishing this bottom. And I'm using the um, a zigzag stitch, or excuse me, I think I used my applique stitch for that. And then the same applique stitch goes right around for the pocket. Putting that um, drawstring in at the same time really saves a step instead of having to insert it afterwards. Just finding out where I want to put place my my little um, button loops. There's four button loops on this one. And then getting it under my sewing machine and I'm zigzagging these into place. And when I zigzag this, I am going to go back and forth several times. I love how this, there's so many colors and just different fabrics with this twisted cord. It really adds a fun look to, um, for these button loops. You could wear so many different color shirts underneath this. Button sewing time. I found these buttons on Amazon and they're one and a quarter inch. I'll link them down below for you. I'm just doing some marking here where I want those buttons. So I have my button sewing foot on. These buttons are wood, but they're, they have a high gloss to them, so they are washable. Really love the worn look to them. And just getting those buttons sewn on. Love sewing my buttons on with my sewing machine. Really saves a lot of time. And here's the finished look. I really, it's, it just went together so quick. The, this is the mustard colored. I also did a washed blue colored next. And on the washed blue one, I left the bottom band on. You'll see it there. So it's a little bit longer. 
and I do have five buttons on the longer one. I hope you enjoyed this video everybody. Thank you so much for joining me. Hope you have a chance to create. Bye for now.